Hi everyone, today we're gonna do something special. We're going to make Italian sushi. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. For our sushi wrappers, I have these three vegetables. I have a zucchini, an eggplant, and a yellow squash. I'm gonna cut them into long, thin slices, not too thin, but then we're gonna roast them in the oven and get them cooked and softened up a little bit, but not so much so to where they're blackened. And I'm also going to use this leftover risotto. Now, sometimes people don't know what to do with leftover risotto, but you can use it in other ways. So I'm gonna use this as our sushi rice because risotto rice is very sticky, especially after it's been in the refrigerator for a while. And then we're gonna decorate the plate with some vegetables and just make it look as pretty as possible. I think it'll be fun. It's my helper for today. Say hi, Daisy May. Hi, Daisy May. Oh, where's my girlfriend? Where's my little girlfriend? I'm just brushing these lightly with some olive oil. I'm gonna bake these on the parchment. And I did spray the parchment a little bit with some non-stick cooking spray. And they're going into a 350 degree oven and I'm just gonna keep an eye on them because they're sliced very thin. I peeled some long strips of carrot that I'm going to use in one of them. This is just an experiment, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use it yet, <laughs> but I think it'll be fun. So here are our vegetables out of the oven. So they're nice and soft now. I'm letting them cool for a little bit. I have some fresh mozzarella balls that I've sliced up. I have some cherry tomato, carrot slices, I made some spicy Calabrian shrimp. I'll put a link up above where you can, up here, where you can <laughs> get a recipe for that. I normally bake them in the oven, but since I was only making four, I just quickly fried them in a frying pan and they look really tasty. And here's our leftover risotto. So what we're gonna do is try to build these little Italian sushis. And this is an experiment, so we'll see if it works. The first thing I'm gonna do is for the zucchini and the yellow squash, I'm just gonna sprinkle them with a little Romano cheese. for that little extra salty flavor. Because normally if you're making sushi, you'll be using seaweed, but we're using beautiful Italian vegetables instead. So next thing I'm gonna do is take some risotto, put a little ball of it in the middle here. Nice and sticky risotto. And I'm gonna roll them up. and transfer them to a plate. So now let me do the other one. And then we're gonna decorate them with our accoutrement. This one's really soft, hope it stays together. There we go. They're fun, aren't they? Okay, let's do the zucchini. So let's, the zucchini are a little wider, so I'm gonna put a little more of the risotto in them. Try to roll these up. Let me spin this around a little so I have a better angle. These hold together a little bit better than the yellow squash. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, they're looking so cute. I'm glad my experiment is working. This one I cut a little bit thicker on the edge, so it's a little hard to roll up, but it'll make a nice base, hopefully. They're coming out so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna do something a little bit different with the eggplant. I have my little carrot slivers here. I'm gonna fold that in half, put it like this. Take another one, like this. I'm gonna put little mozzarella balls in here. And our sushi rice. Hopefully these will be long enough. 
I'm gonna keep these on their side, like a little roll. Because frankly, I don't think they would stand up on their own. <laughs> and now I'm going to decorate these. So for the green one, I'm gonna use the red tomato just for color purposes. Put a little cherry tomato in there. And for the yellow one, I'm gonna use my spicy Calabrian shrimp. Just hang it on the outside. Hopefully it can support it. Oops, let me do it this way. There we go. So now let's do this one. So here's my shrimp. And here's my little cherry tomato. I think that's cute. It's a nice thing to do if you're having a dinner party and you want to serve a fancy appetizer. Thank you for joining me for my Italian sushi experiment. I hope you try it for yourself. Now please share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and check out my cookbook. There's a link to it in the description down below. And also I'm gonna put a link up here where you can get a preview of some of the pictures inside the book to whet your appetite. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.